This is uh, Matthew uh, chapter 4, verse 22. We're in the middle of the narrative of Jesus calling his first disciples. He's already called uh, Peter and Andrew. And now he works, walks a little further down the dock and he finds James and John. And he's just called them, presumably using the same language, follow me. Although Matthew doesn't mention it specifically, but simply says he called them. But we have the same response, certainly. So we have hoy. This is the uh, masculine, neuter, nominative article. So literally it would be the. But idiomatically in Greek, it can sometimes stand for the pronoun. And uh, that would be the idea here. So we'll translate it they, although the literal meaning is the. So they, post-positive de. Uh, Eutheus, same word as used earlier. It's an indeclinable adverb. It means immediately. So they immediately, uh, tes from afemi, means to uh, leave something behind, can mean to forgive. It really carries the idea of a sort of a finality, a kind of abandoning of something, and that's exactly what Matthew wants to communicate. So they immediately abandoned, we might say, or left, to ployon, the boat. This is the word uh, uh, for boat. It can be, as we've mentioned before, a uh, a rather generic word. It can stand for a small boat, a fishing boat, a large boat, sometimes rendered a ship in the New Testament, descending, uh, depending on the context. This is in the accusative, the direct object of offentes. So they immediately, having left to ploy on the boat. And then uh, Matthew adds rather poignantly, chi, the connective tone, patera, and the father. Uh, Zebedee, of course, was there as well, a businessman. Uh, this fishing uh, operation that he ran is now going to be devoid of these two brothers, uh, sons of his. So, uh, tone, uh, patera, out tone, the possessive uh, pronoun in the genitive plural masculine. So, immediately having left the boat and the father of them, ekoluthe san from ekolutheo, it means to follow. Uh, it takes the dative, so we have the dative pronoun here. This is in the third person plural, aorist active indicative, so they followed out to uh, in the dative singular masculine referring to Jesus. Uh, same response, of course, that we had earlier, and so now Jesus has four who have uh, immediately responded, uh, leaving behind their livelihood, leaving behind the uh, external means of support that they've depended on up until this point in this rather radical change of direction. Uh, now set off to follow Jesus.